In this section, we're going to talk about coupons. Coupons are great. People love coupons. Coupons are a core feature of any e-commerce site, and they're a fundamental part of the marketing strategy for your store. So let's take a look at how coupons work with WooCommerce. Coupons can be as simple as a holiday discount or a discount code for first-time customers or a discount code just for a special audience, such as your newsletter or podcast audience. Let's go ahead and create a simple coupon. So over in your store, click on WooCommerce and click on Coupons. And we'll create our first coupon. In the Coupon Code field, let's call it Purpleville Launch. That's a nice long coupon code. This is the coupon for the launch of our store. So you'll notice we've got a percentage discount, fixed cart, and fixed product discount. Well, what's the difference between these three? A percentage discount obviously gives a percentage of the total cart. Say, if we gave a 10% coupon and the cart total was $80, well, then the savings would be $8. A fixed cart discount is a coupon for a particular dollar amount that would then be applied to the shopping cart. And a fixed product discount gives the customer a flat discount only on some products. So for instance, a $5 coupon might only apply to the dinosaur t-shirts, and if two of them were in your shopping cart, well then you'd get $10 off. So for our store today, let's go ahead and offer a really good discount. We're gonna offer a $20 fixed cart discount. So that means everyone's gonna get $20 off on every cart. Now, one of the things that you probably want to do here is give your coupon an expiry date. You'll notice that I'm recording this on April the 17th. So let's give this a one month expiry date going right through till May 18th. And again, of course, that's completely up to you. Now, if we did this without any restrictions, we might run into problems. What if somebody only puts $15 in their cart? Well, all of a sudden we owe them $5. That's not so hot. So let's click on usage restriction and make the minimum here $75. So if they spend $75, they're gonna get $20 off. We'll leave the maximum empty and we'll make sure that this can't be used in conjunction with any other coupon. You get the idea here. That's pretty powerful. And you can see all of the other options down there that you can play with. You can make this a particular product or exclude certain products, categories, exclude categories, etc. What about usage limits? Well, so you'll notice there are two options here. How many times a coupon can be used? And so if you only want the first 10 customers to be able to use this coupon, you'd put 10 in here. But how many times for can each individual user use the coupon? Well, we're going to limit that to one. So you'll see that the coupon system here that comes with WooCommerce is really, really powerful. We'll click Publish, and let's go and test it on our site. I'm gonna go ahead and add six dinosaur t-shirts, and click Update Cart. And you'll see in my cart total now is $150. I'm gonna go ahead and put that coupon code in, and apply the coupon. And so now when I scroll down, the coupon has been applied, $20 has been taken off my complete total, and the tax has been applied, and so there's my current total. Well, that's awesome. That's as simple as it gets. You can build as many coupons as you want into your site, and people will love you for it. In the next section, we're gonna talk about reports. It's one thing to build your store, but it's an important fact to know how your store is doing.